What's up everybody and welcome back to 23rd Garage. So today we are back on the Ram 1500 Laramie. Uh, we are going to get that thing prepped and painted today, hopefully. Uh, but before we do that, I want to show you guys something super exciting. Uh, it's actually right behind me. It's a 2015 Ford Mustang GT. Uh, orange, obviously. Uh, this car right here actually belongs to a subscriber of ours. And he bought this car on Copart and rebuilt it. And the day that he got it back from the shop, uh, it was looking really good. Like the paint and everything was looking really good. Uh, his buddy was over there. His buddy's like, yo, let me drive the car. And he drove the car. And that was the last time anybody ever drove the car. But I think they actually drove it one more time after the accident because it looks like the hood popped up after the accident and hit the roof and damaged the roof too. So it's like adding insult to injury, you know? Jake knows all about that. <laughs> anyway, so look, here you can see the frame rails are both swiped over to the left and uh, it's going to need a core support, obviously a hood. Uh, I don't know how much damage this car had before, but I can't imagine it was that bad. It looks like they saved the original hood. Uh, they kind of put a lot of bond on there. It uh, looks like the entire hood's been bonded, but these hoods are very expensive, so I can understand why they did that. Uh, it's obviously going to need some fenders. And right here in the back, it's going to, going to need this quarter panel replaced. And uh, also, you know, rear bumper, tail, uh, the lid, tail lights, quarter panel and then the roof's gonna have to be body work. So there's a lot of work on this car. This car actually reminds me of the car that Condor Builds is building. It's the same thing. They had a front end damage and they had to repla replace a quarter panel. So it's like literally the same exact car, just different. It's got some nice wheels on it. I like them. Yeah, those aren't the nice. Those are factory, right? I don't know. I, I, know, nothing, I know nothing about Mustangs. I really don't. But, uh, hope you guys hope you guys are excited about this car as much as i am and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it and uh with all that being said let's hop back onto this laramie it's been sitting in the same spot as since the last video that we did on it and uh it was because we've been waiting on the bed and so we finally got the bed and uh the bed came with a little surprise uh, so when uh the when the owner went to buy this bed he drove all the way to spartanburg uh, what is that South Carolina? South Carolina? Yeah, and he was like yeah, I bought it from a Ukrainian and I was like, oh really and then like I almost wasn't going to tell him that I'm a Ukrainian too because of all this right here <laughs> It's kind of hard to see because the lens is wide yeah. angle, Well, I'm sure they can it's, see it's, like yeah. this 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 part right here That's up off the ground. You can see it should be like that So this this corner should be like right here and at first I thought he screwed him because I was like well when you bought the bed uh, did he explain to you that there's damage on it? He said no. But as it turns out, uh, I guess he just didn't want to admit to me, but he told me that he talked to his dad and his dad was like, yeah, don't you remember we dropped it on this corner when we were loading it? And uh, they did this right here and they did this right here. So when I priced him a bed, uh, he saved, uh, you know, I think like five or $600 off of that price when he got the bed himself but now he has to pay me to repair this and this. So it's like, you know, it balances out. He's I mean, still... we got a good bedside over there. We could just like do a quick... <laughs> do a quick skin job? Yeah. No, uh, I think what we need to do is just push this out mm -hmm. and then uh, push that out. We and... can do that when we have it mounted on the truck, yeah? Or no, it's gotta it be done before we have to trim this. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah. That, well, that's really the main uh, project today is to get this bed right here trimmed out and to get all those parts trimmed out and get everything put onto the truck, uh, get the bed installed and uh, get that fender on and uh, make sure that everything's ready for paint. Then we need to strip these doors right here, just this door, uh, that way we can do the blend and then, you know, obviously get it ready for paint. The hood needs a little body work as well right here. That's what happens when you buy uh, parts online. They come in with corners bent in, uh, the corners on all the fenders were bent in. I think I told you guys that already. And uh, so we decided to save the other fender simply because the fender that he bought is like absolutely destroyed and his original fender wasn't even that bad. 
And so the reason why I went, was going to go ahead and replace the fender is because I didn't see the original fender. But upon further inspection of the original fender, I found out that I can actually fix that a lot easier than fixing the aftermarket one that he bought. So uh, we won't have to do the two-tone painting and we won't have to do the blending on that door. So that's actually really good. So the first thing I think we need to, need to do is get this bed inside and uh get to work on it yeah get some heat going that way we can strip that thing down and get yeah. it all sanded let's see if this puppy will start man well, why don't you test out that little booster that you got man <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that thing would probably explode if you connected this it. is gonna be a straight up cold start what is it like 30 right now yeah it's not that cold you know a lot of you people are going to be like hey man come to canada and start it i mean you, you got you got frost on the windshield you know it's cold enough. it's cold man it's cold you got to let that intake heater do its job yes sir yes sir it's better to let the intake heater run a bit than it is to sit there and turn it over because you don't have very long before those batteries die in the cold like yeah. you literally have like just i don't know maybe Two turns really. maybe 30 seconds All right, so we got the cables on this thing. Uh, let's see if this, let's see if this is fun. Yeah, buddy. It almost didn't happen. All right, so we got the bed onto our little bed cart and we're ready to start working. The first thing I wanna do is actually straighten this out right here. Uh, I'm going to use our squaring tram and measure that corner right there real quick and just push that out. And then we'll, uh, we'll pull this out right here and uh, straighten this out. And then we'll be ready to uh, trim it out and get it onto the truck. All right, so we got the corner straightened out and now we are going to go ahead and push this dent out right here. And we need to push this dent out before we get it on the truck because then we won't be able to fix it.
So while the Bondo is drying, we are going to go ahead and strip the rest of the bed. We need to remove all the plastic pieces. We need to remove the tailgate, uh, the tail lights, and the bed liner. So we're going to get that off real quick. So we got this thing outside and uh, never asked you guys, what you, what do you guys think about my BMW part here? Yes, sir. It's pretty nice, ain't it? We built that when we were doing the, uh, the F550 and it's come in handy a lot. So we got this thing outside and we're going to go ahead and prime it. Paul's going to move his car so we don't get any overspray on it. And uh, I think we're going to be good to go to trim this out today. Hopefully we can get this thing trimmed out that way uh, tomorrow, possibly even today, we can get it installed onto the truck. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a lot of uh, body work like this right here. Yeah, well, when we got right here this morning, we were not expecting to do Yeah, there wasn't work. supposed to be all this body work. The only thing we expected to do today was this part right here. And uh, tailgate turned out to be damaged as well. But uh, that looks pretty good, look at that. Yeah, it does. So uh, while we are waiting for the primer to dry, we're going to go ahead and pull the truck up so and start removing the bed. And uh, I'm going to use my new uh, Top Don Jump Surge JS2000. Uh, pretty good little booster. You can boost cars and charge your phone and all kinds of stuff. I'm going to drop a link in the description below. Uh, you guys can go check it out on Amazon. I don't really like the clamps on it, but they yeah, aight.
All right, so we got the bed off of the truck and they, we just got a really nasty surprise right here. Uh, you know, kind of kind of killed my whole vibe. Just, I already hate body work. Me and Nate, we do not like body work at all. No, sir, body no, and paint, not our thing. And uh, this was just like, I don't know, just, just a nasty surprise. So we're gonna have to knock this out probably either tomorrow or the day after, because if the rims come in for the Jeep, <laughs> We're gonna finish the Jeep up. Uh, what else we got going on on this thing? Just a little bit of body work oh, on that yeah. fender uh, over right there. Right here, these corners, uh, hood corners, yeah. as you guys know from before. And uh, I went ahead and uh, straightened out this fender. It fits beautifully. I had to straighten out this right here a little bit and a little bit here. We'll fix that corner and then should be ready to go. Uh, we did not have a chance to trim out the bed is getting late on us. Uh, Paul's busy with other things as well. And uh, since we, since we found that body damage on the cab over there, uh, we were just like, it doesn't matter if we trim that today or not. So we're going to let that primer dry overnight and trim that out in the morning. And uh, hopefully we can get that knocked out as soon as possible and trim that out uh, and get the bed on it. But like I said before, if the rims come in for the TJ, we're going to do a TJ video tomorrow. But uh, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. And uh, also check us out on Instagram at 23rd underscore garage. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.